What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sweet and Savory Barbecue. I'm your host, Jamie Trader. On today's episode, we are knocking out low and slow versus hot and fast baby back ribs using our gateway drum and our Traeger pellet grill. Let's get started. So we've got our baby back ribs here. First thing I'm going to do is get them trimmed up. You see that kind of slants off here. I want to kind of even that out. So I come in here and make a cut. Anything hanging, I'm going to get that off. And I actually like to take off this last bone here too. You can leave it on if you want. I prefer to take it off. Pretty good looking rack of ribs there. Got this little flat. I'll cut that off. It's just going to burn up. Basically, you want to take off anything that doesn't look appetizing. Go ahead and get our membrane peeled. You can score it if you want. I prefer to peel it, especially with just a few racks. It normally comes off pretty easy. You can use a butter knife or a spoon to help you if you need to. Let's flip these over, see what the top side is looking like. I'm just gonna kinda take off any excess. See how that meat right there is kinda hanging up a little bit? I wanna kinda cut that down, make them even. You can save any of this trim, put in your sausage, cook it up on the smoker for some beans, and take some of this fat down. Not going crazy, just anything extra that I can easily get. Keep your knife flat and work with the meat. Like I said, not going to go crazy. Not going to go crazy at all. That looks pretty good for that rack. Might get a little bit more of this fat right here. What you can do is just take the tip of your knife and score that fat. Help it render down a little bit in the smoker. All right, let's get this other rack done real quick. We're not going to season our hot and fast rack quite yet. I want that to be seasoned about 30 minutes before it goes on the smoker. So I'm going to use my smaller rack for my low and slow ribs. I prefer to do that if I have a choice. You know, you can obviously cook whatever size you want, but if I'm gonna do one versus the other, I prefer to have my smaller, less thick rack on my low and slow side, just for a little bit extra protection. The hot and fast, really those thick ribs are gonna be great for that. Using a little olive oil, not much as a binder. You can use mustard, apple juice, water, nothing at all. It's completely up to you. I'm going to come back with a dry rub we're working on. Hopefully we'll have this out on the market for y'all soon. I'm just going to do a fairly, like a medium, light to medium coat on the back side. Nothing crazy. Make sure you get all up in there and get your edges. Pat that in. And I'll flip it over. A little olive oil on the top side. And come back with that dry rub. It's going to give a great color, great flavor. This rub's got three different types of sugars. It's got some cinnamon in it. Two different types of paprika. Two different types of pepper. It's a really great rub. We're just going to let this hang out here for about 30 minutes. We're going to be cooking our low and slow ribs on our Traeger today. So we're going to get that fired up while these sweat in. We've got our Traeger set at 225. We're going to throw these ribs on. They sweated in about 20 minutes. Got it fired up with a little oak pellets mixed with some royal oak charcoal pellets to give it that good charcoal flavor. Get them straightened up on the grill there. Close the lid. We're going to let them go about three hours before we look at them. Got our drum up, 300 degrees, little oak wood on there. The ladies, right on the grate, straighten them up so they cook nice and even. We're gonna come in here about every 15 minutes after this and spin this rack to keep these things cooking nice and even. We don't want one spot over the fire too long. Like I said, 300 degrees, about two hours. We're at hour three on our low and slow ribs. They got some great color to them. That's exactly where I want them to wrap them. All right, I want y'all to look at that beautiful color on those ribs. I'm gonna lay them meat side down. Just so we have reference, we're gonna go in here and check our internal temperature right between the bones. We're at about 175 after three hours. Interesting to see where our hot and fast ribs are after two hours. So we're just gonna fold these up. We're gonna dump in a couple ounces of apple juice. You can wrap with whatever you want. You can use some barbecue sauce, butter, brown sugar, honey, whatever. I'm going to use a little bit of apple juice, just keep it simple. I want these to be easy to get back into to check for tenderness. 
double wrap them in foil. You definitely want to do that so your bones don't poke through. Wrap them up nice and tight. And I just like to do one fold in, just like that. One fold in. And they're ready to get back on the grill. All right, it's been an hour and a half on these hot and fast ribs on the Gateway Drum. Let's come in here and check them out. Oh yeah, so you can already tell at an hour and a half, they've got the same amount of color as those low and slow ribs did on our Traeger. So we're gonna get these wrapped up and get them back on here to finish out. All right, y'all, check out the color on those ribs after an hour and a half. The bottom's looking good. We get them wrapped up here. Pair our temps. These ribs are almost done. They're pretty close. They're right around 200. Hot and fast ribs though, you want them to go a little bit farther. So I'm probably gonna only give them about 20 to 30 minutes in this wrap at the most. Pick off some of this black stuff. These aren't gonna take long at all to finish out. That's good. We're hungry. Wrapped up. Back on the pit to finish. Won't be long. All right. So our ribs are done. We've got our low and slow ones here. We're gonna start with those actually. Move our hot and fast ones out of the way. Get them out of this foil. All right. All right, so I got some sauce here. We've heated it up. This is just head country apple habanero. You can use whatever you want. I just had this on hand. Start with this back side. Nice little light coat. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna flip them over. Hit the top side. Get a little heavier on the top. I want them ribs to shine. At this point, you can hit them with a little more rub if you want. You can do pretty much whatever you want. I'm just gonna stick with the sauce. I think they look pretty good just that way. What do y'all think? You think they look good? All right, let's get our hot and fast ones out. Crazy thing, man, these hot and fast ones, they were done in two hours. These low and slow were about four, so about half the time. Now, hot and fast, if you're cooking a couple more racks and just one, might take a little bit longer. I just had one rack on the gateway drum. Hit that back side. Just crazy to me, the time difference. Flip them over. I really like the color on those. A little bit of that apple habanero. Brush that sauce in. All right, we've got our low and slow and our hot and fast here. All sauced up, ready to try. We're just gonna stick with it. We're gonna start with the low and slow rack. I'm gonna get a little bit of sauce down on my board, spread that out. I'm gonna flip these ribs over to cut them. So a little sauce on the board helps keep that top nice and pretty. Got my slicer here, cutting through really nice. Come through and slice each one. Okay, get these flipped back over. They smell great. On the low and slow side. See what we're gonna do though. We're gonna top them back off with a little bit more sauce. A little more sauce over the top and a nice brush, just in case we knocked any off. All right, let's do the same thing. These hot and fast come down here and start slicing. Let your knife do the work. Get them flip back over. Hit them with a little more of that sauce. All right, now I'm going to try one. Try these low and slow first. All right, all right, low and slow. Starting off strong. It's really juicy. It's tender. Not overcooked. That's a good thing. Those are good ribs. Not bad. Let's get after it on one of these hot and fast ribs. Get one right here out of the middle. Just by looking at it, it looks like it's a little more done than the other one. That's okay. The flavor of that gateway drum, you see how tender they are. It provides a really unique flavor with the meat dripping on the coals like that. I don't know. That's going to give old low and slow a run for its money. They're both a damn good rib. We might have to try one more of each one. So in the end, I think I like this hot and fast rib a little bit better. It's got a little bit better flavor coming off that drum. Now I can't say it would be the same on the Traeger at 300. I think the fat render is a little bit better on these hot and fast ribs. These low and slow ribs are really good. You know, they're nice and tender. They're pulling right off the bone. There ain't nothing wrong with it. And especially if you're busy, you got kids, you got family and stuff running around, there's something to be said for being able to throw this rack of ribs or two or three, however many your pellet grill fit on a pellet grill, and just let it ride. You don't have any maintenance. You know, these, these hot and fast on our drum, we were spinning that drum every 15 minutes, spinning it, spinning it, spinning it. That way it didn't get too charry on one end or the other. Down to flavor, these gateway drum ribs, hot and fast, that's the way to go for flavor. So that's it for this week's video. We hope y'all enjoyed it. We hope y'all learned something. Be sure to try out this recipe. Let us know on social media when you try it. Hit that subscribe button and watch this next video we got picked out for you. And we'll see y'all next time.